This is Chase with Chase the Outdoors. Up in Arizona today, we are at Woods Canyon Lake and doing some trout fishing today. Brought two poles with me. One's down there, the other one's hooked up right now. Got a power bait on, but been here for 15 minutes total, probably. And I've caught two fish within eight minutes total. I would say. So, put my first line in. Just trying to hook up my second line, but wasn't even able to uh, put some bait on it and put it in the water. That's how fast it's been going down today, which is great. And there's some pretty good ones today. And it is just starting to thaw out some of the snow, which is great. Go check out some of this fish. All right, guys. Check these out. Got them on a strainer. Look at that guy. Yeah. That's a nice one. So hopefully we can hit the limit today. What's up, guys? I'm on my phone now, so hopefully you can hear me well. Check her out. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, isn't that? Oh my goodness. So pretty. Number three for the day. Let's go straight around. I don't lose any. Look at this. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, so I'm gonna, I think I'll call it a day today, but check it out. Look at how pretty these guys Alright, so here is what I can have for today. It is such a nice day out. All the snow is finally melting. It's great. Now, these guys on some ice. So I just got done fishing. Uh, I put the fish on ice and in a cooler. So now I'm going to be looking for some sheds. See if I can find any. I'm not going to be trying that hard. It's kind of going to be strolling around here. Looking for any signs, but hopefully we can find some. Oh man, look at this. Can you guys see this? I'm not sure if you guys can. Oh, okay. Man. Oh, it's like taunting. You know? Oh man, look at this. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There are so many tracks. Okay. Alright, I might just try to look around here for a minute and really double check everything, see if I miss anything. Because. Found some good old tracks. Yeah. This guy got me. There. Quick me. Another check. And that check. But I'm back to my truck pretty soon. I should be there in about five minutes. Maybe two miles total. Mile in, mile out. At least. It's pretty far. I mean, so. 
that's a bummer. Sorry I couldn't, uh, I need any new sheds for you guys, but I'm gonna be coming back, we're driving back home and tonight, maybe I will do a catch, clean, and cook. I guess maybe I can cook up some of that trout. I got three. Two are pretty hefty size, so that'll be really good. Super good. I'm excited for that. I always eat what I catch. What I can take home and everything. So alright. See you guys on the road. Alright guys, we are back at the house. Just take a shower and kind of clean up a little bit. Got the fish right here. Let's uh, clean them up and uh, put them on the grill. First, and um, got the inside, so you kind of go from the buttocks area all the way up where you cut off the head and then take out all the guts and then you'll see a kind of like a black, dark, dark purple line on the spinal cord it's a bunch of blood basically so i'm gonna get your thumb and uh, push that out so i'll get it cleaned up and then i'll show you afterwards all right so just cleaned them all up here is what they look like on the inside so this was where that super black blood is right there so i want to rinse some water in it kind of clean it up a little bit more this is going to be so good be excited all right, so I got everything laid out. I got everything in tin foil. I'm gonna put some olive oil in it. I got some lemon pepper and I got some lemon juice. So I'm just gonna put that all over the outside and on the inside. All right, so this is what it looks like afterwards. I uh, put a ton of it on the inside and outside. So all ready for the grill. All right, so I just uh, seasoned everything up and this is what they look like. So they, they look like mini like burritos basically. So you wanna wrap it super, super tight, tight as you can with everything in it so it keeps all the juices in it. All right, so everything is on the grill here. I just put them on, it's at about 350. On the first side, I'm gonna leave them for about 10 minutes or so and then I'll come back and flip them. And then I'll leave that side for maybe eight minutes or so. And then we'll just kind of check and peel everything off. So I'm excited for this. So I just, I'm done cooking these guys. And look, I just opened it up. I accidentally got the uh, skin with the foil. Skin just peels off, man. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, look at all these juices. All right, so just took them off the grill. Look at these guys. I'm gonna open them up, and then uh, you wanna take off the skin and take off the bones. So it should just peel right off. How easy this is to take off all the skin. Look, see all that? Just peels right up. Look at that. Look, look at all that, look how easy that was. All right, so check this out. Just took off all the skin, and all you do is just push it off all the bones. It's this easy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So there's gonna be zero bones in this guy. Oh, man. And this should just come up just like that. Here's all the bones. Look at that, falls off. All right, so check this out. So this is from the three fish. So all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of lemon and pepper, uh, some salt, and then it's regular pepper, just to add more pepper flavor. But, and then I made a bowl of rice with it, just a plain bowl of rice. And that is gonna be the meal. So I'll show you everything once I soak it all up. Okay, my first bite. That's, that's, that's pretty good. I dig it. Look at that. Mm. 
That is solid. Mm.